Welcome to Your Monday Motivation with Udena Barika Gill, a motivational podcast to start your week empowered. Wonderful to see you back on our Monday Motivation. Hey, for those that don't know me, my name is Dana. Every Monday, we try to get you a word that will help you to start the week off strong. The last couple of Mondays, we have given you some keys, the things you can do to help you in finding purpose. Hallelujah. So, but this day, I want to flip the script a little bit and let you know the things that you should not do. The theme, therefore, is don't lose sight. Very, very important in your journey to find purpose or to unveil purpose. Don't lose sight. Scripture taken from the book of Galatians 6 chapter and the 9 verse, it says, Let us become not weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So the next don't is don't give up. The second one is don't lack your seal. Amen. Your passion. Don't lose your passion. And the third one is don't curse. Do not curse. Don't be proud. Don't take revenge. Amen? So, don't take revenge. Don't curse. Don't cancel people. Don't give up. Don't lose your passion. And maybe you are thinking, people. Yes, people. Don't cancel people. You know what? Your purpose, your ministry, it is attached with people. People are the main reason why God has given you a gift, a talent, a purpose. So, and one might say, yeah, but I was disappointed. I was hurt. I was this and that and so and so by people. Yes. But let me remind you, we all are in need of a savior. Nobody is perfect. You might hurt someone along the way. I might hurt someone along the way. But love, that's why scripture says, love, it covers a multitude of sin. Your focus this week, my focus this week, is not to lose sight of the assignment. Not to lose sight of your assignment. I want to point out a character in the Bible that as I was going through my journal this morning, I came back to this person and it's nobody else than John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Remember, the first encounter John the Baptist had with Jesus, it was when he was in the womb. Remember, the angel spoke to Mary and Mary went to Elizabeth and as they met, then the womb Something happened in the both womb. So they already met there, Jesus and John the Baptist. And then the second encounter they had was in the water. Remember, John the Baptist, he was preparing the way for the Messiah to come. And he led many to Christ. So now John, John the Baptist, he is baptizing people. And then Jesus comes along. And who baptized Jesus? John. And John witnessed the power of God coming upon Jesus. But then along the way, he was in prison. Yes, in a dungeon. So, and why am I highlighting this story is because a dungeon, a prison, is a place whereby when you face disappointment, when you face hurt, you might find yourself in darkness. You might find yourself in a place of isolation. And, you know, isolation, darkness, it has a way of playing tricks with our mind. And that's why I team this message. Don't lose sight. Don't lose sight. So let me see something quick here. So as John the Baptist, he was in the dungeon. He was in the prison. And, you know, a lot of 
things started to come up in his mind and Jesus got notice of what was happening with John and he sent word to him. He sent word to him saying that, tell John the Baptist what you have seen me doing. I'm here today to tell you that remember what God has done in your life. I believe that's why Jesus sent message to John the Baptist to remind him of what he has saw, of what he has seen. The power of God in his life. My brother, my sister, don't lose sight. This week, don't lose sight. No matter what happened, don't lose sight. Remember that all things work together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. You are one of them. So I want to leave you with this quick, short word. Don't. Don't get weary of doing good. Don't lose your passion. Don't cancel people. Don't curse. And what was the other one? Don't take revenge. Amen? Keep your focus on Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. The thing he started, he will perfect it. Amen. So be encouraged. This is your word today. I hope it motivates you. Keep your focus and don't lose your sight. Remain blessed.